All right, everybody. I am in the desert of far west Texas. Uh, here, let me show you where on the map. You can see the dot there. I'm a little bit south and east of El Paso. Tucson to the west, you know, Lubbock to the east. Anyway, uh, I'm going to visit some towns here along the border with Mexico. Very poor towns, uh, interesting places. Right now, I am actually right on the border uh, with Mexico. There's Mexico on the other side of this fence. This is the border fence. And uh, I'm on the road that Border Patrol, or Border Patrol, uses as they patrol <laughs> the border. It's so quiet out here. Uh, the town of Fort Hancock is right there. That's where I'm, I'm going to go first, but I just wanted to come out here. Uh, where it's real quiet. Almost virtually silent, isn't it? Almost no noise. You can see a uh, interstate way up there, but I'm not going to go on the interstate. I'm going to I'm going to hug the border pretty tight on this drive, and I visit these towns. Should be really interesting. So, uh, yeah, I'm going to get in the Bronco and uh, away, away we go. So, give it another look at the road quiet today haven't seen any border patrol yet but it's early in the morning um, it's about oh close to 10 a.m. Uh, it is a Friday middle of February Yeah, just the little dirt roads out here. <laughs> Not even sure if I can come down here, but I did it anyway. Anyway, this straight ahead, like I said, Fort Hancock. I'm going to head there now and show you that town first. Uh, I'm at Fort Hancock now. Uh, I'm going to show you what was left of downtown, or what is left of it. Not a lot. Let's see, uh, I'm gonna turn around here and go up the main drag. Look at a coffee shop right there. Interesting. Anyway, uh, yeah, let me turn around, give you a better look. Okay, so I'm gonna head up the main drag, so to speak, of Fort Hancock. I'll tell you a little bit about the town. Uh, in 2010, there were a little over 1,700 people here. Today there's barely a thousand. So this, there, there's some border patrol right there. Uh, so the city has lost a lot of population. Median age is 42. Our per capita income in this town, $10,915 a week. Hey look, there's a cat. Am I gonna get the cat already guys? Let me see. Before I go any farther. Yeah, there he is. Ha ha ha! Got him already. Uh, anyway, yeah, uh, per capita income, two uh, ten thousand nine hundred and fifteen dollars. That's two hundred and ten dollars a week. Okay, let me make a turn in here. Median household income, twenty nine thousand nine hundred and nineteen. That's $575 a week. Wow. Interesting yard, huh? Um, anyway, I'll go on. Uh, poverty level here is 34.2%, so that is uh, over three times higher than the national average. It's a beautiful church here. I'm going to. Uh, pull in and take a look at it you guys know I love uh, beautiful churches and uh, they have them here in these border towns 
Uh, you see them a lot. Let's see if I uh, get you a good look at it, even though the sun's kind of in the wrong place there. Isn't that, isn't that beautiful or what? Let's see, 8% of the males are widowed. I think that might be the highest I've ever seen. <laughs> uh, 26% of the females in this town are widows. Uh, so that may be the highest I've ever seen as well. Yeah, you can tell this is a very old town. It's so quiet here. Um, let's see. Let's do some of the breakdowns. Gender breakdown, 60% female, 40% male. And like, like I just told you, a lot of those females that live here are widowed. Really interesting. Um, the race breakdown, 76% Hispanic, 21% white, and 3% uh, other. 36% of the people who live here were born in Latin America. So there's a little bit different uh, statistic. that you don't always see. Median home value in this town, 40,900. I, I just talked to a police officer. He was uh, telling me some places to go here. Really nice guy. Um, but he was telling me, uh, there's another cat. Look at that, guys. Anyway, you know, when I started the video out, I was down there by the border, right? <laughs> and that's why he stopped to talk to me. Apparently, he said the chatter with the Border Patrol that there was a guy uh, along the fence there. So, uh, those guys know what's going on all the time. They already had me on their, in their sights when I was down there. I mean, that's, that's crazy. Uh, anyway, so I'll continue on after that little bit. Uh, a statistic that sticks out for this town a little bit, the uh, high school graduation rate is 46.8, which is, which is really low. The uh, U.S. average is 85, a little over, so the people who have graduated high school, about half that of the uh, U.S. average, a little over 40%. Anyway, an interesting claim to fame for this town. If you're a fan of uh, the movie Shawshank Redemption, the big scene where Red, of course Morgan Freeman plays him, crosses into Mexico to be with his uh, buddy Andy, that was Tim Robbins, that took place here in this town, Fort Hancock. I've seen that movie like 10 times, so I, I was excited to see that. I've probably seen enough here. I've, I've got a lot of ground to cover, so I'm going to move on down the road. See what else we can find. All right, I'm uh, heading towards the border. Uh, straight ahead, you can tell the fence ends. So I'm going to see if I can uh, see the Rio Grande, see what it looks like. So that's where I'm heading now. All right, I'm uh, cruising right along the Rio Grande here. I told you. Uh, the fence ended uh, back that way probably quarter of a mile so you're looking at uh, on the other side of this brush there's Rio Grande and the borders right here let's see I'll show you on the map you can see where I'm at I'm right on it the US Mexican border very quiet here Very desolate, isn't it? Something. Well, okay. Yeah, I'm gonna head on down the road. Uh, I am entering the town of Akela now. I think this sign is close to all that's left of it. This is an actual ghost town. 
in the 60s there were about 200 people here and it had a sh you know a couple shops and gas station etc etc nothing now though the population is actually zero here uh, very little left of the town Like this is pretty much it, all that's left. Yeah. A Kayla Grocery. Pretty safe to say that hasn't been open in a while though. Give you a close look. It's been empty for a long time, hasn't it? See inside there? Give you a look this way. See the mountains in Mexico? Absolutely beautiful. I do love the desert. I think it's one of the most beautiful places uh, of any kind of place. Anyway, I'm going to head on down the road a little ways farther. I'm not sure what's going on here. Uh, it looks like some kind of drainage or overfill. You see it in this direction too. Um, give you a look. You can see the border right in front of me. I'm not sure if I can drive down here or not. I haven't seen any, uh, no trespassing signs. But that's the border with Mexico right up ahead. Uh, again, no border wall here. Guess I'll, guess I'll make my way here and take a look. As long as there's road. Okay. Yeah, I just saw no trespassing sign. So I'm not going to trespass. I'm going to uh, turn around. But you can see uh, that's the border right there. That's Mexico. And there's no fence. Where that brush is. Cool. Okay, this unobtrusive looking entryway is actually to a pretty amazing place uh, it's called Sonic Ranch recording studio this is the world's largest residential recording complex uh, the grounds have five homes so that bands as they record here can actually uh, live on site oh, they went a border patrol guy uh, anyway these guys, uh, yeah, the bands live on the property. I looked at the list on Wikipedia. Quite a few bands, I mean hundreds, fairly well known, have recorded here. And um, it's set in a 1,700-acre pecan orchard. And you can see uh, the pecan trees there. That's really, uh, really cool. Way out here in rural, rural Texas, kind of in the middle of nowhere, on the Mexican border. Uh, the largest residential recording studio uh, in the world. Amazing. Yeah, you can see as you drive on down the road, all the uh, pecans. They got big signs uh, outside of it that say, do not pick any of our pecans. <laughs> That's pretty funny. But anyway, yeah, so there's that. I'm uh, closing in on the next town. It's called Tornillo. So that's coming up right up here. All right, guys, I am entering the town of Tornillo. 2010, there were 1,568 people here. Today there's a little over 1,300. 
So it's holding its population pretty well. Uh, per capita income, 20395 That's $392 a week. Median household income is pretty high, 64821 uh, that's twelve over twelve hundred a week median household poverty is eleven point six that's pretty low too that's the national average seventeen and under uh, according to the census zero children that age lives in poverty however sixty five and older thirty six percent of them live at or below the poverty level um, Zero widowers, but 14% of the women in this town are widows. Let's see, let's do the uh, breakdowns. Uh, gender breakdown, 53% male, 47% female. Let's see the race breakdown, 99% uh, Hispanic, 1% white. So this is a very Hispanic town. Uh, in fact, 96% of the population here speak Spanish as their first language. And 40% uh, of the town, the people that live here, were born in Latin America. Like the last town, high school graduation rates, uh, it's low. 50.5%. So that's quite a bit lower than the national average of 83. Or 85, I'm sorry. Uh, let's see, 25% lower than a national average crime though, so uh, crime is low here. So there's all those numbers. I'm going to, uh, yeah, I'm going to look around a little bit, see what's all here in this town. Interesting homes here in town, a lot of um, stucco, adobe style. Uh, let's see, here's some right up here. Kind of homes that um, I'm thinking stay pretty cool in the summer. It's the idea. And uh, maybe even this in the winter too helps keep them warm. Uh, the median home value, by the way, uh, is. 80,400 and uh, you can see the nicer houses here for sure always looking for the stores in town yep, looks like here's one here Tornillo dollar and grocery very small store it's kind of in a residential area I guess they don't have the uh, zoning issues like you couldn't do that in my uh, neighborhood in suburban Dallas you could not put a shop there that's uh, that would just be a no-go well, let's see what else the town's got yeah, lovely home there I think you saw the Dollar General already. And of course that little shop I just showed you. And then they have a family dollar here. And we'll see what else is up in this direction. Now, does that look like a bike trail to you guys? Huh. I wouldn't think biking is a thing here, but uh, apparently it is. A newly installed bike trail, it looks like. Let's see, I saw another store over here. Uh, they've got numerous options for shopping here, it looks like. Uh, let's see, A and A Grocery, right there. Many of you asked me to show the schools, and I don't always do that because I don't know if I like the idea of. 
filming schools and kids, but uh, pretty interesting here. That was the intermediate school. This is the junior high right here. Uh, and I think this is the high school here, and it's pretty impressive looking. Yeah, it is. Tornillo High School. Look at that. It's a really nice looking school. Uh, the architecture reflects the area. Looks like it's uh, stucco slash adobe. I'm kind of impressed. Or I'm actually a lot impressed. That's pretty cool. Look at this Happy Hour Depot Pizza and Wings. Burritos, flautas, hot dogs. Happy Hour Party Hall. They've got some stuff here in town. kind of a cool town I'm um, I'm digging it Tornillo all right uh, this is uh, highway 20 by the way so if you guys want to look on Google and see this basically the main road I'm driving down uh, yeah it's uh, highway 20 I'm getting back out on it going to head to the next place I'm gonna get out here and take a peek through the uh, slats what do you guys think? Just for fun. I think I'll be okay as far as uh, Border Patrol is concerned because, like I told you, they already scouted me out. So let's take a look on foot. Let me be still for a second. So quiet here, isn't it? Wow. Let's see. Please keep your distance. Wait here. I wonder if it's okay if I just kind of peek through. What do you guys think? Take a look into Mexico. There's a little town over there. I can't remember the name of it. So there's Mexico there. Wow. Wow. can't get over the silence really desolate here cool all right there is a uh, cemetery and a church over here they both look really old let's go take a look at them what do you guys think all right I'm approaching the La Isla cemetery it's just kind of out here in the middle of nowhere. Why don't I take a quick look? What do you guys think? La Isla Cemetery. Uh, it's got a gate here, but I know you can just probably get in. Look at these. Uh, Wow. How old do you think some of these are? Because look, it's just wood nailed into the shape of a cross. Isn't that something? Well, the gate's got an opening here. So I'll, uh, I'll come take a look. Hopefully no one will be angry. Um, this part of the cemetery hasn't... Uh, doesn't have any graves, but over here, there's a little sign. Let's see what it says. Uh, historic Texas Cemetery. Texas Historical Commission, La Isla Cemetery, established 1910. Anyway, yeah, look. Doesn't get any simpler than that, does it? Wow. Oh, it says something over here. Well, I can't 
I don't speak Spanish. I don't see any dates though. One sixteen oh five, maybe. Isn't that something? It's another one right here. Nicholas Sierra. Huh. Looks like he was born in April seventy five, May oh three. Wasn't very old. You don't see this every day. And you got the simplest of markers here. It's not even any, you know, anything written on them. There may have been at one time, but you know, you can tell that wood is very old, really old. This is the La Isla Church. Looks like um, no services are held are held here anymore, and it's locked up. I was hoping I could get inside. I guess not. Wow, isn't that something? Real close to the border here, by the way. You can see the border fence right there. I wonder how long that's been there. Maybe someone can find out and post it in the comments. All right, everyone, I'm entering the town of Fabens, a bigger town. In 2010, there were about 8,300 people here. Today, there are 7,400. So it's lost a little bit of population. Per capita income is $13,568 a week, or a, a year, I'm sorry. That'd be a lot of money a week, wouldn't it? But that comes out to $261 a week. Median household income, $29,892, $575 a week. Poverty level, a little over 30%. For children 17 and under, it's 37 percent. People 65 and older it is 27 percent. Five percent of the men in this town are widowed. Fifteen percent of the women. I'm going to take a look around this town. Uh, you can see this church right up here. I'm going to go there first. You can sit to the uh, right a little bit. Yeah there's the church. Our Lady of Guadalupe Catholic Church. That is absolutely beautiful. Am I right? Wow. Um, let's see. A couple of other numbers. Let's see what the race breakdown is. 94% um, Hispanic. 3% White. 2% Asian. So that's a little bit different. Addition, 83% uh, speak Spanish as the first language. 40% of the people here were born in Latin America. Let's see one last statistic. Median home value here is $66,000 even. Oh, what's going on here? What's going on with this poor little guy? Like a little chihuahua. Oh, he's going to the bathroom. <laughs> well, you got to do your business. You got to do your business. I just uh, want to stay out of his way. Oh, boy. Well, there you go. <laughs> Hope he starts feeling better. Got another beautiful church coming up, but I wanted to show you these houses. Really interesting architecture. Uh, the kind you only see here in this part of the country. Uh, what's this? Fabens Christian Fellowship. It's a beautiful church. Wow. Yeah. 
I really like these houses. That's beautiful there. Uh, a town of over 7,000 people will be big enough for a McDonald's, and there it is. I mostly came out here to see the uh, grocery store because you all asked me to show you that, and uh, it's right here. It's a pretty big one, too. Uh, was it San Eli Supermercado? Yeah, so there's the grocery store. Um, see if I can find a gas station because uh, people are always asking for gas prices. So let me see if I can do that real quick. Okay, out here on the edge of town, they've got a Speedway 309. Oh, that's how much unleaded gallon is going to cost you here. All right, I'm going to uh, drive down a little residential. Oh, that one's that home there is empty. No one living there. Ah, uh, let's see. Again looks very Mexican border and I, when I say that I mean towns in Mexico on their border that's what it looks like of course we are in Texas on the border but uh, it looks very similar yeah, you can tell the culture is very very close yeah, these very small homes here Did you hear that? It's a chicken. Somebody's got a chicken. That's yeah, really interesting, isn't it? It's hard to imagine anybody living there. here to some stores a tire store and what's this Maria thrifty store I don't think that's open though doesn't look like it I'm just parked here in downtown looking at all this stuff crazy I, there's a restaurant right there it looks like uh, can't see the name of it anyway uh, okay I'm going to uh, wrap this video up here um, we will be in El Paso and uh, so that will be the next video be looking for that one